Hello, and thank you for joining me, Chris Keating, as I unbox another charity welcome pack. Now, this time, it's the turn of the Natural History Museum. And for those who don't know, the Natural History Museum is one of the big, famous museums in the middle of London, full of dinosaurs. And I have a long history with the Natural History Museum. When I was a small child, my dad worked next door, and sometimes, during the holidays, he would take me to the Natural History Museum in the morning, park me there to go and wander around looking at the dinosaurs all day, then pick me up for lunch, then put me back in the Natural History Museum for the afternoon to wander around again, and then he would pick me up and take me home. So, if you want to understand me as a person, I'm the kind of person who went to museums as a child for free childcare. Now, uh, that's not the only reason that I have joined the Natural History Museum. It's also to get free access to special exhibits and to skip the queue. That's one reason. And two, because museums are being completely messed about due to coronavirus, and I wanted to give them some money. So, uh, this is what they've sent. It's uh, small. Small, but package -y. Um More as a member. Uh, collector, protector, supporter, explorer, campaigner, educator, member. All of those things that they think I'm trying to achieve by being a member. So that's, that's good. Um, what's inside? So we have a bunch of things. We have things folded over. So, this one's on top. This has got my membership card, um, which has a, a triceratops on. I think that's a triceratops, or is it something else? Should have been paying more attention to the dinosaurs. Uh, it's a nice solid card, unlike some other membership cards that, that I've seen lately. Um, it's got a barcode on. Yeah, it's nice. And then this. This says welcome. Then it... Uh, okay, let's open this up. If I open it up this far, then it's a letter. So that's good. Um, we are delighted that you have chosen to support the Natural History Museum by becoming a member. Uh, that's good. Uh, you're making a real difference. The Pioneering scientific research, education, and conservation. That's also good. We want our members to question and seek out the wrong. Good. That's. We want our members to question and seek answers about the natural world and use the museum as a window. Yes, kind of. But like, uh, that's. It's nice that they want their members to to do that. But why are you telling your members what they should be doing? A possibly a pedantic point, because it's, it's, it's very much on beam for my motivations. It's just, a, I, I slightly feel like the Natural History Museum is telling me what I ought to be doing, which is fine. <sighs> kind of. Um, so on the other side, over here, we have uh, my my booking information to to book my free tickets, which is good because everything has to be booked online. So that's fine. Yes. So yeah, this bit of the letter here is also giving me the information I need on that. Um, direct debits details. A heartfelt thank you. Thank you for supporting us for your membership. Which which is fine. Could could say something specifically about the COVID situation. It could. Um, and down here, there's no PS. If there had been a PS, my eyes would probably have gone straight to the PS. Um, I have some blog posts on this subject, which, which I may have to remind people about. Um, but people do tend to read PS first. All right, the rest of this. Um, here, there's some information on how the membership materials have been designed for low impact. This box is compostable. Is it? So the box might be compostable. How about this large delivery label? How about this piece of plastic here? Um, points for effort, certainly. 
Um, all paper is 100% recycled. Good. Try shedding it. For extra insulation as animal shelters or bug house. Okay, that's a remarkably specific idea, but fine. Um, and here, um, upcoming exhibitions. Good. Uh, wildlife Photographer of the Year and Fantastic Beasts. Definitely want to go to those. That's good. And a reminder that I need to book a ticket. So that is fine. We have another piece of paper here. Um, we have a piece of paper that is um, confirming the setup of my direct debit instruction, which Boring, but necessary. We all know they're necessary. So the other two things, that's over here, I've got the cards. Other two things, I have an ichthyosaur saying, nice to see you. Is this postcard? See, it's not actually a postcard because this back is it's not set up as a postcard, so it's just a card with an ichthyosaur on. Now, I mean, I like ichthyosaurs, but hmm, what is it for? I'm not entirely sure. It just says member, so I know it's special to members, but good. Then a booklet carefully designed to fit in the compostable, but maybe not quite box. Um, which is so that's that's the famous view with the blue whale it used to be a, a, a diplodocus but now it's a blue whale and it's pretty cool um more as a member so this should tell me what i can achieve as a member thank you for supporting very big welcome about the Natural History Museum, uh, which is interesting. Eighty, eighty million specimens and some other things they're doing. Uh, research and insights. This is the kind of behind the scenes work. Fairly more. Like no, science and learning, this is what they do. Your support means more than ever. It's a member at the heart of our community, you can look forward to a year of exclusive benefits. Uh, if you're a UK taxpayer, we can gift aid. Have they already asked me to gift aid? There is no record of a gift aid declaration in this, so I don't know whether they have already done that or not. They might have been in an email or something. But, I mean, they've mentioned it there. You'd have to be... Oh, there's a web link. Okay. Maybe I can go to nhm.auc.uk slash gift aid and then give them more money for free, which is, which is a good thing. It's just a slightly out of the way call to action like if they they do know whether or not i have gift aided my membership if i have and if they give me the chance and i would definitely have ticked the yes box then then i don't need to know this they could have confirmed if i had in this letter anyway i suppose the point i'm getting to is that that, that this is this is this is confusing me and it didn't need to confuse me and it would have been less confusing if they had a form and a response envelope which they could have fitted in even inside the tiny box. Um, more to experience that uh, giraffe. Of course they don't have live giraffes in a museum because it's not a zoo but they do have skeletons, models, things like that. 
Um, and not every photo can be a dinosaur because it's not only dinosaurs. I mean, an ichthyosaur, of course, is not a dinosaur. It's a marine lizard from the era when the dinosaurs were around, but it's not a dinosaur. Just, just so you know. Um, more things, exclusive events, which I probably won't go to because, like, I don't live in London anymore. Though I will go to the museum when I visit London. Um, there's a digital hive. That's interesting. Dive deeper with Evolve. Evolve magazine. Not included, because it wouldn't have fitted in this box. They would have had to have used a bigger envelope. Um... Uh, anyway, Evolve magazine, I, I look forward to getting it. Uh, more a range of options to tailor the experience, okay. Remember your cards. <laughs> like, all of these organisations do, like, physical membership cards, which is okay, but it's the year 2021. Surely there's a more sophisticated digital way to do these things. Though it is nice having the, the substantial card with isotopes on it. Um, oh, and, and more information on booking tickets. And that's it. Yeah. It's not bad not wowing me. Um, it has has the membership card, which I will hang on to. Uh, it has repeated in several different times uh, times and places the the free ticket booking information. And it's mentioning Mentioning the history of the museum. It's mentioning what is in the museum. It is mentioning the additional work that it does that it that you might not be aware of if you just visit the museum. Is it really like this? This image really brings home the point of being a member. This really brings home the museum. It really brings home everything it does. Um, also, these do fairly well. But it doesn't... It's a very cultural institution booklet -y, to my mind. It's talking about what's what what goes on but it's not talking in any depth and it's not really bringing it home um where was the membership letter the membership letter which is cunningly like it's a clever bit of design which also buries the letter and the letter you may hear me going on about on on about this point Often, the letter is what builds the emotional connection. So, not the best call to uh, to have uh, to have this, which then folds out to this, which then folds out to this, and then if you open it up, then you find the letter, and the letter is. That is one of your five, five paragraphs long. I mean, you don't. A bit longer could have built more of a connection. Um, could have given more insight into the work they do. It could have given more profound sense that they're financially messed over by having to shut for the whole year and therefore members are particularly important at the moment. Could have done. Could have been. Could have been more. 
could have been more. That's my takeaway from this. Anyway, thank you for joining me. I've given the Natural History Museum Welcome Pack a 6 out of 10. It's trying to do all the right things. It's trying to say thank you. It's trying to help me get the most out of the tangible benefits of membership. It's trying to evoke the sights and smells of wandering around the museum. And it's trying to show me the research and conservation work that my money is supporting. It's just not really following through on any of those things. Given the immense amount of material the NHM have to work with, they could have done so much more. And given what they've done, a simple letter with the card attached could have done the same job, perhaps even better. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you again soon.